What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel And today we are back with some more Nana football man You can see that we're going to be taking on the Carolina Panthers It's in that 6-5 and five, right below the Falcons So it's a must win for them to try to keep pace with that squad It's a must win for us if we ain't trying to be at the bottom of this division We, we could, you know, maybe tank the rest of the season to get a better draft pick But I, I ain't with all that, okay? We're going to try to win the game Because we play to win the game, alright? So we're going to try our very best to do that, man but I hope everybody's having a fantastic day if you're not having a fantastic day hope this video gives you some joy okay moving forward all right so we're five and six they're six and five should be a good match we're gonna get the ball to foster and we bottled him up okay my defense out there screaming around like we got our hair on fire all right they try to run the ball again and we're stuffing it you get nothing and you're gonna like it third down and long the Lomi, the homie, takes the shot deep, and I was nervous because that's Steve Smith. But Nate Clements is going to shut that thing down, and we got this thing going back the other way. Frank Gore, that play was designed to go to the right side, but he breaks it to the left side, and that's going to be a first down. Give it to Frank Gore one more time. We're going to pick up a good block by our fullback. Let's take it north and south for another first down. Going to find Hill over the middle, and we're cooking with grease. Grandma's recipe inside Carolina territory. Second down and two, we run the ball, we don't get quite what we need. So third down and in inches, we give it to Frank one more time, right up the gut, and he's able to pick up the first down. Smith throws it quickly to Hill. Again, short passing game, that might be the recipe for success. Use routes that I know are gonna work for the most part, okay? And just try to get the ball out of Smith's hands as quickly as possible. On third down, they run commit, but it don't mean not a darn thing to me because we take it up the gut for a first down. Now we're running. Hard again with Frank Gordon. We're going to pick up again the seven. Going up the gut with Chris Brown. He gets shut down. And now it's third down. Quick pass to Bloom. And Bloom turns it into a solid game. All right. Now we're going to run the ball. No, it's a play fake. And Smith's going to find Vernon Davis. So it's working. Everything's coming together. Go right back to the ground game. Go with what got us here. Eight carries on that drive for 40 yards for the homie Frank Gore. That's the recipe for success. Getting the ball to Steve Smith, that might be the recipe for success. I thought when he did that truck stick animation, we were going to bring him down. But Nate Clements, he didn't stand a chance tackling Steve Smith. All right, so game is all tied up at seven apiece. Going up that gut is Chris Brown, and Brown gets shut down. Got Gore wide open, but I didn't read the coverage right. My, 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 uh. Reading of the coverage was definitely hooked on Phonics right there on third down. And we get the ball right back to the Panthers after going three and nine. They're looking at second down and long. And they come through with the homie Carter. And Carter has a first down as we head to the second quarter. So 7-7 seven, seven is the score for first and 10 for the Lomi. The homie going to throw it to the left side. And Walt Harris was straight hating on him. Gets the INT. Gets put on his back pretty forcefully. But it's going to be a first down for those Niners going back the other way. We're going to run the ball with Frank Gore. Picks up a solid down on second down. Now it's going to be third down and five. Looking for Jackson who makes the catch in double coverage. Jackson, I love you. I got to get you the ball more often. Clearly. But that was a good play, and we got ourselves on the board again. Second down and nine, they're going to find Jarrett from USC. He's going to pick up the first down. Up that gut goes Foster, and Foster gets nothing. This is a gain of three. Second down and seven. The Lomi going to find Horn, and the Horn breaking tackles, and the Panthers are not going away. But it's second down and 12. They run the ball. They pick up 10. So looking at third down and just two. And on third and two, they run the football, and Douglas is hating in the backfield, baby. So first down. Down in 10, we take over. Excellent punt by their punter, but Frank Gore is an excellent running back. Our O-line is pretty decent as well. We get a good gain of nine. We come right back, get a solid gain of two, and that's a first down if you do the math correctly. Chris Brown to the outside. It's been tough sledding for Chris Brown. Only a couple of carries, but so far hasn't been able to break free. Looking downfield one more time. Still looking this time for Frank's Gore, and Frank's Gore could not bring it in. So third down and six. Definitely a horrible read right there. Fortunate it was not intercepted, but definitely not what I wanted to do on that drive. So that drive comes to an end. Here comes the Panthers, second down and 10. They run the ball, and my boy Smith is in the backfield. Okay, have himself a cocktail. They're going to throw the ball to the flat. Foster gets beasted on. We take back over. Now, I saw it happen on the last drive, two minutes ago in the first half. I'm like... I know we're supposed to pass, but let's run the ball. Clearly, it's our best option. We pick up a first down, tack on 15 extra yards. We're up to the 44-yard line, and then Frank fumbles. And that's what I don't want to see. 
I'm not going to be too mad at him. He's my star on offense, so it is what it is. He usually doesn't fumble the football, at least not in this game and during this season, all right? Second down and 10, DeLome over the middle, going to find Jarrett, who makes the catch, and that's going to be a first down. DeLome from the gun, they enter the back, but I'm going to find Carter over the middle. I try to light that boy up, but I missed the hit stick while he was on his way down to the ground. They throw it to the end zone, and we bat that thing away. If we can hold this team to a field goal, I would definitely take that as a win. They run the ball on second down and 10 for a solid gain of three. DeLome over the middle. That's going to be caught by Hoover. We don't get off the field on third down. So first and goal. Foster up the gut. We finally stop him inside the five. Second down and goal. Looking downfield to the end zone is DeLome. Let's him fly. We bat that thing away. So now it's third and goal. Can we hold this team to a field goal? Yes, we can. They ran the ball. Not going to work. Not on my defense. Get to stepping. They set up for a field goal. Total win for my defense right there. And now it's going to be a 14-10 game going into halftime. So we get the football first. We got Bloom, who's healthy after being out for the last couple of weeks. He gets up to the 30, crosses the 35, and steps out of bounds just shot of the 40. So we got good field position at the 38-yard line. Quick pass to Vernon Davis. Got some pressure in our face, so the pass goes back to the line of scrimmage where he gets tackled. So he gets a catch, but no yards. We get the ball to Gore, who gets bottled up just a little bit. Smith looking downfield. We run the ball. No, we're going to pass it. Because we got Alex Smith, the truth. Okay, now we're going to run it on fourth and one. We go for it, and yeah, we don't get it. It is what it is. I wanted to keep the ball right there, so I went for it. We didn't get it. Defense, I hope you got my back. Going over the middle, he should have threw it right there. He had a man wide open, but he takes a shot deep in the double coverage, and that's not going to work out, okay? Sometimes it does, but that time it didn't. Then we get the pressure with my boy Michael Lewis getting that sack. Third down to 14. It's in the corner blitz. That maybe forces a quick pass. And they don't get enough yards for the first down, and we force a three and out. So we're going to go downfield, right? I hope so. Jackson, he makes the catch. Now second down and inches. Smith looking downfield, throws it, caught by Gordon. Frank picks up the first down and with the gain of six through the air. Smith going to Hill in double coverage, makes the catch just shy of the first down marker. Second down and inches. Give the ball to Chris Brown. Let him run it, and he's going to pick up the first down by the hairs of a chin chin chin. We go backwards on first down, though. So it's second down and 13, and we missed Frank Gore. Now it's third down and 13. Smith, we got to have it. Gore is open, and he doesn't pick it up. Jackson was also open. Got to remember that he's probably my best route runner. Got to give him the ball. I didn't. But on fourth down, we run the ball Frank Gore, and he gets it. So we're doing our thing right here. I'm going to let Jackson do his thing with a straight Moss, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Get Moss by the homie Daryl Jackson. Got to definitely get DJ the ball more often. He is our best overall receiver. Vernon Davis might be our best pass catching option, but of course he plays tight end. But again, I'm, I still, I'm still getting used to this game. I feel like I can't trust it. Like I kind of know what it's going to do, how it's going to react to certain plays. But then again, I don't. So they pick up a first down on third down, so that hurts. So first down and ten. They got some momentum after picking that up. We send a blitz with Goldston, and that doesn't help us because now we really basically. Man on man coverage and the Wayne Jarrett brings it in. Foster, he gets to carry. Good blocking up front by the Panthers old line. Picks up six. Second down and 40. Set up a screen. One person is there, but he gets blocked out the way. Downfield, the blocking is stupendous. They get inside the 10, and that's going to be a huge game for that Panthers offense. And they need it because they're down by two scores. They run the ball, and we're shutting it down. DeLone, quick pass to Steve Smith, and that's a good route. Good hands. Pass was on time and on target, and that's going to be a touchdown. So Smith, quick pass to Ashley Lalee, and he's going to pick up a little bit of a little bit. If you're reason why, if you're wondering why I didn't throw the ball quickly, it's because a lot of times the animation, if you throw it too fast, the ball will just lead him out of bounds. So I like to wait till the receiver stops and then throw it right there. Frank Gore makes the catch, picks up a first down, so he gives him the ball on first down, breaks one tackle, and gets stopped a yard shot of first down. Mark, he gives the ball to Chris Brown. He might be like our short yardage back. That's not like that great as short yardage. <laughs> but I'm trying to save some carries from Frank Gore. Don't like the wear and tear on my running back's body like that. Trying to play a little bit simulation style, all right? Fourth and inches. We're going to go to the air. Trust the homie Alex Smith. The short passing game might be where it's at for him. Yes, I want to push the ball downfield. I definitely do. But at the end of the day, his arm strength is just not there. And I am trying to win with Alex Smith before we say goodbye to him. But if we have to say goodbye to him to win, then that's just what we got to do. Frank Gore to the left side, picks up a first down. Great blocking, and then Frank Gore will do the rest. Stiff form says, get off of me. Touchdown Niners. 
what I'm talking about, man. When we put it all together with our ground game, we are a very tough team to beat. Just sometimes teams are able to take away Frank Gore or we're down and I feel like I have to throw it, yada, yada, yada. But when we, when we get the lead, like we did in this game, if we can run the ball and add a short passing attack with it, little wild, uh, wild, about to say wildcat, little West Coast offense, I think that we could be deadly moving forward. And if we win out, we do have a chance at the postseason. We are still mathematically in it. All right, mathematically, we are still in it. DeLone, looking downfield, he's going to find his man, Horn, and Horn is not done. Breaks a tackle, got grabbed by the face mask, so that's why the flag went up, but it's a touchdown nonetheless. That's crazy to me, all right? So, extra point again, go for two, we send a blitz, and that leaves Kenny, or whatever his name is, wide open, and that leads to a two-point conversion. So, they're only down by three, so we need to contain possession, contain the football, milk the clock a score, and Bloom was trying to do everything on that play. Great kick return, good field position, and Frank Gore's like, Bloom, I see what you're doing, but just remember, when the ball's in my hand, greatness happens. 3-0-3 on the clock, get the ball to Chris Brown right up the gut. He picks up a solid game. 2-23 on the clock, run the ball for Frank Gore, and that play's gonna take us to the two minute warning. So we pick up a first down right here. We're, we're Gucci. And Vernon Davis gets open, so we're Gucci. That's gonna be a first down. But we, we probably need one more first down to really ice this ball game. We have to settle for a field goal, and that could quickly come back. We run the ball with Frank Gore. No field goals here. We pick up the first down. They got burned with the second to last timeout. And we're just gonna milk it from here. Take a knee on third down and go. And that is going to do it. So we come to Carolina and we conquer Carolina 28 to 25. Solid day all around. As you're gonna see from the stats, Alex Smith definitely had his best game today. I don't believe he turned the ball over. And that's a big help. That pass to Jackson had two touchdown passes to Jackson, which is also a big deal. But this right here. 18 of 21. That's all I need. That's all I need from Alex. 18 of 21, short passing game. If we can get his accuracy up to where he gets the um, the accuracy, like the little bullseye weapon thing, because there are weapons in this game. Take that for whatever it is. But if we can get that for him, I think he will be kind of like a very, very poor man's Drew Brees in this game. Not like in real life, but, you know, Drew Brees kind of known for short passes, yada, 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 dinking and dunking, even though he can hit the home run. Not trying this Drew, but I'm just saying that's kind of what I envision Alex to be. So anyways, man, that's that for this game. Our next game, we are going to be taking on the Vikings. I'm watching this game back in the day. I was at my girlfriend's house. Anyways, man, oh, that girlfriend was a cousin of Jamal Charles. Not that that means anything. I'm just throwing it out there. Anyways, though, man, we're, we're going to be taking on the rookie Adrian Peterson. I don't know if he's a starter or not. They come into this ballgame at 5 and 7. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace, love, hot sauce.